So this is a pathway for you to migrate abroad without having to get a job offer and without having to write the IELTS exam. So migrate abroad without a job offer, without IELTS and sponsor your own visa. How amazing is that? If we are just meeting, my name is Jackie and on this channel, I share content to help you migrate abroad. And in this video, I want to talk to you about a pathway to migrate to this amazing country where you're going to sponsor your own visa. You all know that to migrate to another country, you need a company, an organization, or a school in that country to give you visa sponsorship to the country. But on this pathway, this visa, you sponsor yourself. You don't need any job offer or any of that. And you don't even need to write the IELTS exam. I know this is something that majority of my viewers are looking for you know i think it's easy requirements low requirements is something that anyone can jump on you know if you meet the requirements which are low so in this video i'm going to be telling you what these requirements are who can apply for this kind of visa and the documents you need every other thing you know everything about this visa the duration if you can go with family or not every single thing you need to know about it so if you're loving this content so far do give this video a like that's a thumbs up it's just a way of appreciating the content i share so just hit the like button to support me so i would be motivated to make more videos like this all right okay so this is a digital nomad visa for spain all right spain has approved this new visa it's the digital nomad visa and i've done videos on this kind of visa before and i have a full playlist for all the digital nomad visas i've done on my channel i've done that for portugal for malta for several countries so do check the playlist i'm going to link it up here and in the description box as well so you can check out you know how to move to several other european countries without needing a job offer or writing the IELTS exam or any, you know, thing hectic like that. All right. So Spain has launched their own digital nomad visa. And this visa is specifically for remote workers and freelancers. So if you're working in a place where you can work from anywhere in the world or you run your own business, you get clients here and there, basically you can make money from living anywhere in the world you have that flexibility of working from anywhere your job is done online all your deliverables are online and stuff like that then this is the kind of visa for you so if you fall under that category then you need to also look at the digital nomad visa that is a way for you to migrate without having to get a job offer or you know and things like that it's quite easy when you're ready you just pack up your bags and move down to this country without having to have any alliance with a company in that country i mean you're like free to do whatever you want you know in that country all right so these are the people that can apply for this kind of visa are you a remote worker are you a freelancer or a business owner that can operate from anywhere in the world then you can apply for the digital nomad visa and move down to Spain. Okay, so now let me tell you about the requirements for this visa. Number one is that you're not an EU citizen. You don't hold an EU passport or you're not in the EEA because obviously people in the EU are free to live and work in Spain, right? For a long period of time. So that's the first requirement. You're not from the EU or EEA. And the number two requirement is that you're not employed by a Spanish company. Like you don't work for a company in Spain. That's the topmost, you know, requirement. You don't work for a Spanish company. And then the third requirement is that less than 20% of your income is coming from Spain. So now as a freelancer, you can have you can have um, clients in Spain. You can be taking up clients from Spain, but they should not make up the bulk of your income. They only allow for 20% of your income to be coming from Spain. And the next requirement is that you've not held residency status in Spain for the last five years. So within the last five years, you've not had any residency in Spain and the next requirement is that you must have been working remotely for at least one year. So you can't be starting your remote work career from the point where you 
you know, you apply for your visa. Like your remote work career cannot begin in Spain, right? You must have been doing this for at least a year before you can apply for this visa. And the next requirement, which is very important, is that you must have a clean criminal record and you must not have previously been banned from entering Spain. And the last requirement is that you need to show proof of accommodation in Spain. Like you need to show proof of where you will be staying when you're in Spain. And you can do this by showing a lease agreement in Spain. Or if you have someone in Spain already, you can have them invite you or show proof that, you know, you're going to be living with them while you're in Spain. But they just need to know that you have a place to stay when you get to Spain. All right. Okay. So that's it about the requirements. So if you're eligible and then you meet the requirements, then the next conversation is how does it work? Right. Okay. Let me tell you about how this digital nomad visa for Spain works. Okay, first of all, let's talk about how long this nomad visa lasts. How long can you stay in Spain on this visa? So the good news is you can stay in Spain forever. You can settle in Spain if that is what you want. This pathway is a pathway to settlement in Spain, like get permanent residency, get citizenship in Spain. Like this is super, super amazing, all right? So for the digital nomad visa, the first is initially valid for one year. Like when it's issued to you, you're going to be getting a one year visa. And on arrival in Spain, you have the option of changing this nomad visa to a temporary residence permit with a validity of a maximum of three years. So you get this visa, you arrive in Spain, you change it to a temporary residency permit for three years. So after the three years, expires you renew it for another two years and at the end of that you would have stayed in spain for five years and you would then be eligible to apply for permanent residency or citizenship in spain i mean this is a very good pathway to settle in spain i think this pathway is really good so it's something you need to explore and spain is an eu country so this is a chance to get EU citizenship. And when you have EU citizenship, you know, while on this visa, right, you can travel around all the EU countries. So you have free access to 20 something countries in Europe. And then when you have your citizenship, you know, with Spain, it means you're an EU citizen. So you can actually migrate to any other EU country to live and work indefinitely right so i think this is a very very good way to make it into europe all right so if you enjoyed this video so far please give it a thumbs up that is a like just to support the channel let me know that you appreciate the content that i share you know your likes you know go a long way to encourage me to make more videos so do hit the like button right now all right thank you so much all right so can you migrate with your family on this visa and the answer is yes and this is another amazing thing about this pathway to spain you can travel with your partner and your children all right that is super super amazing so how can you apply for this nomad visa in spain all right so how to apply for this visa is still being worked on the spanish government just approved this visa they just announced that yes the digital nomad visa will soon be open for applications and so they're going to announce how to apply you know in the coming weeks and once this detail is out you will be the first to know i'll definitely do a video to let you know how to apply for this visa but i'm going to give you some details based on my experience with other digital nomad visas so for other countries right they usually have this income threshold like a minimum amount of income, monthly income, you must have before you can apply for the nomad visa, right? And it's usually a minimum of 2,000 euros. So let's just say Spain says you should have an income threshold of 2,000 euros every month. You'll be required to show bank statements to prove that you actually do receive payment of 2,000 euros every month. And from my experience with other countries, it's usually a three month bank statement, right? So you need a three month bank statement to prove that you have an income of at least 2000 euros per month, for example. All right. And you'll also be needing proof of funds. You need to show proof 
of sufficient funds, you know, to care for yourself while you're living in Spain. And this proof of funds is usually for the duration of the visa. So you're going to be showing a one year proof of funds, maybe, right? Because the initial visa is going to be for one year. So you may be required to show a one year proof of funds in your account. So those are the kinds of things to expect. And then if you are a remote worker, other countries do require that you show your letter of employment and you may require to show a letter from HR, you know, stating that you're allowed to work remotely, like you're allowed to work from anywhere in the world. And then if you're a freelancer or you're a business owner, you'll be required to show proof of your company registration. And you may also be required to show proof of clients. You need to show proof that you actually do have clients. So your clients may need to write a letter stating that, yes, they are your you're their client and they pay X amount of money for your service every month, you know, that kind of thing. So that's just something to prepare yourself for. Yeah, so those are the basic things that you may need, you know, to apply for this nomad visa. And of course, you'll be needing your passport. So if you don't have your passport, now is the best time to go get it. So those are just an idea of the things to expect from the application process for this visa and if you want to know how this nomad visa works like i said earlier there's a playlist up here where you can check the nomad visas for other countries to get to know more about how this works all right okay so let me know what you think about this in the comment section drop a comment let me know what you think about this nomad visa for spain do you think it's as amazing as i think it is are you excited about it will you be applying for it let me know in the comment section all right and also share this video with others so they can also take advantage of this amazing opportunity to migrate to europe Subscribe to the channel if you've not done that already so you can see more videos like this. In this 2023, you must relocate abroad. So do subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications so you'll be seeing videos, all the videos that I post about how to migrate to several countries. All right, my name is Jackie and I will see you in the next video.